Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. People have asked me when I'm going to do the review of the Starlight Mark III Linux laptop. Unfortunately, I still have some problems to activate video hardware acceleration, especially in the browser. And I still have some performance issues when playing YouTube videos. I'm still running Ubuntu at the moment on my Starlight laptop. And someone suggested that I should have a look at PopOS. And I also did a little bit of investigation and I think PopOS uses newer kernels. So that should also help. And as a first step, I wanted to test PopOS on a live and persistent USB stick. Creating a live USB stick is not that hard, but when you want to have persistence, so that means when you install programs or when you change the configuration, then it will be safe to the USB stick and the next time you boot, it's all there. So you don't need it to do it again. For Ubuntu, it's really easy to make a live and persistent USB stick. For PopOS, you have to do some manual steps and I didn't discover it myself. I found this article on medium.com from Randall Rainsford and he explains how to do it. And I'm going to show you in this video how to do it. So, of course, you need to download PopOS. You can download PopOS from System76. So I already downloaded 20.04. You need to install Make USB and you need to install Departed. Instructions are here. And I will also leave a link in the description to a video where I installed this to make a live and persistent USB stick with Ubuntu. Now, when you have this installed, you can start it from the terminal, but you can also just simply start it here. And before you start this, you should plug in your USB stick probably best when that one is like eight gigabytes or bigger. So I already plugged it in, as you can see here, it's a 128 gigabyte Lexar USB stick. So we're ready to go. So we click yes. You need to fill in your password. And here is a warning that your target device will be completely overwritten. So you better make sure you know which device is your USB stick. But in general, it should not be that hard. So we fill in I for install and press enter. And we want to have a persistent life. And here it says only Debian and Ubuntu, but you can also do it for PopOS, but then you need to make some manual changes. So we press P. And now we need to find the image. So here is the PopOS image. And here my only option is actually my Lexar USB stick. So we click OK. Yes, we really want to override it. So here you can just use defaults. And here you can decide on how much space you want to have available for persistence. For instance, like when you install extra programs, 
or when you create files with those programs and the other part will be for general storage so let's just say when you want to have some music available or some videos just some user data i'll go with 50 50 because with 128 gigabytes that should be plenty for both of these partitions and yes you want to go ahead and here it says yeah it's not Debian or Ubuntu and you probably have to tweak it manually that's correct but it still will go with the process And here it says, when it asks if you want to use grub image, answer yes. And here comes fixing persistence, where you need to change the label of one of the partitions. And let's see. Which and perhaps with a smaller drive, things might be a bit faster because it doesn't need to generate the bigger partitions And also one of the things is that you need to create a directory so that you can temporarily mount one of the partitions so you can change the grub config file. Let's see if we can see how far it is.
well, that's the speed seems to be going all over the place. But at least it's still going, almost there. Well, the final tasks and at least the part with make USB is done and now we need to do the manual stuff so we can quit and quit again and we can press enter to quit this now we need to start G parted So needs you know password. Okay, so we need to select the USB stick. Okay, that's this one. And as it says, you need to change the Casper PopOS label to just simply Casper-RW. So that's this one. And then we can say, label it. Okay, and then you need to apply your operations. So you say apply. That's done. So we can quit G parted. Um, oh, whoops, I forgot to note where the boot partition is. It's probably the same, but just to be sure. Yes, it's def stb3. So we can start a terminal and as you can see I already have that boot directory so you can create a directory in a terminal with make there so I don't need to do that because it's already there and so you can say sudo mount def stb3 boot. You need to fill in your password again. That's done. And well, you can just use any text editor, probably, but. Let's see. Okay. So now we need to make changes and 
Yeah, as you can see, I already have a newer version of Pop OS. And but let's see, it's it's the most important part here is the things in bold. So let's see if we can put those things together. And then we need to find the menu entry. I don't want to see that in. Okay, so. Here it says menu entry, pop OS, persistent live. So, yeah, you can shorten it, but I'll just keep it as is. And then we need to find the part with boot. So here it says boot, Casper, pop OS, 20.04, etc., etc. So we only need boot, Casper. And then we'll fill in the live media path is Casper Pop OS twenty dot oh four. So Now we only need to fill in after the persistence that we'll use hostname is popOS and username will also go with popOS. And that should be all. So we can save this. And we're done. So now we can reboot. But as I'm using the screen recorder, that would also stop the screen recorder. So that's all for now. And probably in my next video, I will show you how it boots with my Starlight Mark III. So that's it, and I hope to see you again in my next video.